So, um, Scott Cawthon is retiring, and I'm kind of pissed off. I, I think it's a bunch of bullshit, man. You have, a, you have a lot of these kids right now that are kind of like, you know, sending these thumbnails about like, Oh, Scott retiring, have a good one, bye! Bye! And it's it all seems kind of too convenient. So, if y'all don't know, um, Scott Cawthon, the uh, creator of the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, um, he's retiring, re retiring. Um, I don't, I don't want to say, uh, quitting, but that, that's, that's essentially what he's doing. And, um, the way it happened is way too... He got cancelled. Like, quite literally, um, he got cancelled from Twitter. Those fucktards. Ugh. Anyhow, so, um, let, let's talk more about the subject. So, if you don't know, Scott Cawthon's retiring, and, um, the biggest thing, um, that people are kind of saying is that, um... He's retiring due to the fact that he got canceled on Twitter. A lot of people were talking bad about him and um, were actually doxing him and sending him threats. Like, literally his family. Um, and he has a kid on the way. I think he has, like, six kids. One on the way, right? And um, they doxed him, friend him, for his political beliefs. Which, you gotta be kidding me, man. Like, like are you kidding me? So, I myself am not gonna get political here. But I will tell you this, if you are someone that believes in cancel culture, because I don't care what you say, like, there's some stuff that's just not cancel culture. This is cancel culture. You're literally stopped a man that essentially is trying his best to make games for kids, you know, for um, the horror genre. You know, he really is trying his best, to, his damnedest, to keep this community alive. And no, you voted for so-and-so. HOW DARE YOU HAVE A BELIEF! HOW DARE YOU- Sorry, I- I- sorry I'm in my tank top. I, I got back from working out, and I- I- I heard about this, but I- I learned a little bit more that got me more pissed off, so that's why we're talking about it. I'm trying to find, like, the exact list of, like, the people that he, like, supported. Alright, so I found a quick article. Um, so, apparently, he's been doing this since the very beginning, and people now just found out, oh boy, and you- you won't guess it! You won't guess it, guys! Guess- guess who he supported! The orange man. Whoa. Well, by by golly, you know he he really deserved it then. You know, you know, fuck his family. I mean, shit. I mean, really, it's, he supported Donald Trump. I mean, shit. He, everyone better better fucking go on their knees and shoot themselves now. Fuck. Okay, obviously I don't give a shit. I think it's bullshit. Um, really, it's like 50-50 about you got Republicans and Democrats, right? You can't please everyone, and. He was going to fall on some side of the spectrum, so people being surprised by this kind of pissed me off. And what, what I'm going to read off the list really quick, right? So here's who he supported. It was um, obviously Donald Trump, Ben Carson, Kevin McCarthy, um, John Cornyn, Cornyn, what the fuck, and uh, Devin Nunes. So there's probably there's probably a few other ones, right? But that's the main uh, people that he supported. And um, you know, there's a lot of stuff throughout um, his journey that I would say he supported. Um, one thing specifically is um, the LGBTQ community. Um, now, I myself think that community is fucking toxic as shit. I think they're fucking toxic, dude. But, I'll tell you what. I have a lot of gay friends. Good for them. And honestly, for him supporting that shit, awesome. But guess what? Orange man? No, there's no... You can't be a Republican and, and also support gay people. No! It's it's just like these dense motherfuckers, these dense motherfuckers. So as you might guess, you know these people found it out, and there's a huge thread of you know shit on Twitter between Scott and all these other people of him arguing and them arguing. And he honestly he shouldn't have to say shit because like it's his business who he donates to. I mean fuck. I mean I I think it shouldn't matter. There's people that I listen to that I don't like how they donate, but it's like not my fucking money. And really, if you don't support him, don't buy his games. I have an idea. Maybe you can just not support him. Simple as that. Maybe not, you know, fucking threaten his damn family. What the fuck? So they're all like, oh, you're this racist, misogynistic, um, uh, homosexual, uh, um, hom not homosexual, shit, what's it called? Homophobic <laughs> piece of shit. That, that's what they essentially were like telling him. And he's like, no, I support this person, this person, and this person. And they're all different kind of people. And, of course, I mean, like, dude, it's Twitter. You have someone behind a fucking screen, you know? Um, 
who's going to listen to that shit, right? So, um, it just sucked. It, I, I would say it sucked, um, probably the life out of him. And, you know, after that giant fiasco, um, he was like, I'm considering retiring now, right? Okay, considering that, whatever. And then they dox him. They fucking threaten him. And then, lo and behold, he quits. So, I'm going to read off to you, um, the message that he sent out. If you guys want to, um, look it up or look at the, uh, the shit, you're more than welcome to. Um, I'll send a link below to, uh, some forms of what I've read and, uh, the image itself that says it. But I'm just going to read it out. Um, I don't have any background music here because I don't want this to be some cheery video or anything. Like, I want this to be deadass because I'm, I'm tired of this toxic bullshit. Um, like, really, like, if you, if you were part of this cancel culture bullshit, fuck you. You're a piece of shit. All right. Um, so let me read this off to you. So here's what he said on his main page. Um, before I say anything, check out this awesome piece of fan art. Obviously, you guys can't see it. Um, pretty amazing stuff, right? I have boxes and boxes of art uh, artwork just like this from fans that I've saved over the years. I've tried to answer as many letters as I could, and I apologize to anyone that I missed somehow. Someday, when I have a bigger living room, maybe I'll make a giant collage of all the fan art I've collected. Stuff like this has made it all the worthwhile to me over the last seven years. I've had a blister-filling and rich career. I have been shown great kindness, and I've tried to show great kindness in return. I've tried to make some good games, let the debate ensue, and I've witnessed the creation of of possibly the most creative and talented fan base on the planet. But here on the seventh anniversary of the game's first uh, of the first game's trailer, as I realized that I was in my mid thirties when I created the series and now I'm approaching my mid forties, I realized that I miss a lot of things that I got to focus on before FNAF became such a success. I miss making games for my kids, I miss doing it just for fun, and I miss making RPGs even though I stink at it. All of this to say that I am retiring. I've been shown tremendous love and support over the last week. <laughs> A lot of which has come from the LGBTQ community. The kindness has shown me has been surreal. <laughs> Is this the end of FNAF? No. This just means that someone else will eventually be running the show. Someone of my choosing. And someone that I trust. We'll have to wait and see how it all plays out, but an announcement will be made at some point. I have six kids now, although one of them are currently the size of a blueberry. I love them dearly. They are my whole uh, world and whole universe. I want to focus my attention on them, focus, my prote uh, focus on protecting them, and spend my time making things for them. I only ask that my fan base respect my decision. I will still be around, just not in the capacity that I used to be. What a blessed career I've had, what wonderful people I've met, and what tremendous blessing to um what a tremendous blessing to have been able to know all of you. Thank you so much. See you on the flip side. So um to me, what I see is a damaged individual that loved what he did and these Twitter pieces of shit took it away from him. So, uh, if you don't agree with Scott, don't buy his games. If you don't agree with him, don't support him. Whatever. It doesn't mean you get to fucking dox him. Like, really. If you're watching this and you're one of those people that were like, Oh, fuck him. He needs to support dox. Fuck you, dude. You're such a piece of fucking shit. Dude, I mean, what the fuck? Really. I mean, imagine getting mad over, oh, wait. Someone believing something that you don't. Guess what? There's there's millions of other fuckers out there that don't agree with you either. But uh, there's a lot of warning signs, and um, the biggest things for me is how he starts um, essentially bringing up his last week. I think he did this on purpose. How I, I'm so grateful to these these groups. Now he does actually like the LGBTQ uh, uh, community. Um, he he really does. Um, he, he's done multiple things to support it. Um, multiple times he's added in uh, creations into his games as well that kind of support um, that group. Um, and I believe he's also sent donations to, uh, the grow, uh, group as well. So, I mean, like, um, whatever you guys believe on that, I mean, he, for a fact, is supported. And then, essentially, that same support group fucking spin their face. So, that's, that's why I'm a bit pissed off as well. Um, but it's mainly, it's mainly the Twitter fucking 
cancel culture. That's what really got me pissed off. Um, and then at the end, he starts talking about his kids mainly. Sure, if he actually genuinely wants to quit, I'm just some guy on the internet. What what the hell am I going to be able to do to stop that? Nothing. He's going to stop, and we'll have to move on. And it's going to happen. We're all going to move on, right? I mean, um, it stuck when Stan Lee died, but I mean, we're we're past that now. Um, some of us. But you know, um, for me, this is just a, a fucking disgrace. And there's so much more potential I see out of this guy that he could have given us so much that without him, I do not think horror games would have gone as big as they have. I do not believe they would have. And it's all because of this cancer culture that is really a toxic form of bullying, harassment, and friending other individuals. It's, it's toxic. It is sickening. And the fact that people just call it cancel culture, I mean, like, shit. What the fuck? And the fact that Twitter hasn't really done anything about it either. I mean, it bothers me that Twitter will react to everything else that they don't agree with. But then there's this, which this guy literally quite literally got harassed into quitting his fucking job. He got doxxed. And they're not going to do anything about it. Um... Not sure what they could do, but what I am saying is that this is a bunch of bullshit, and um, I I want to do a hashtag um, bring Scott back, bring Scott back. Um, I don't know what it is. I, I don't think he'll listen to it. Um, I don't think anyone else is really going to, except for the people that watch this video. But um, just in a desperate attempt, maybe just to help my own needs to uh, feel better about myself over this whole fucking situation. Um, this is bullshit. So, hashtag, um, bring Scott back, and... What just disgusting people? Um, let's just make the best we can out of this situation, though. Because, um, even though you don't agree what he supported, that's fine. I mean, shit. Um, a lot of actors I watch, you know, um, support people that I don't agree with. Um, and that's a-okay, because I still love the actors, you know, and you gotta be okay with that. Sometimes being different is okay, but when you go to this length, it's dehumanizing, and I mean, it just, it reminds me of how fucking stupid motherfuckers can be, so whatever, I guess. Um, Scott, if this is the end, thank you for everything, but, um, don't worry, your community's never gonna give up on you, man. And I mean that from the bottom of my fucking heart. At least the real community. So, um, everybody else that's watching this, thank you so much for watching. Um, that's a whole drama about if you're curious. Again, no music, no nothing. Um, sorry about all that. And sorry, I don't, I'm not using my other clothing. I just, I, I wanted to get this done with and I just got back from working out. So, um, I'm just, I'm pissed. But, I'm pissed about this all. Because nobody should be bullied out of their dream because that's what twitter did they're, they're a bunch of bullies and the people that are in charge of twitter how fucking dare you fucking pussies all right everyone else smile keep it up i was fight for a future so bright so much for your eyes um see you next video guys bye whoop